Hi and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the draft feature in Onshape and we're going to apply a simple fixed plane draft as you can see in the bottom left hand corner. On the bottom are a number of different tabs. So this tab here gives you an overview of the different exercises or challenges in this series and you've also got links to the YouTube clips uh, in there to follow along on those tutorials. You've got here as well a part which we're going to apply the draft features to and then we've got a reference okay, model here which we can reference during this uh, tutorial. So what we've got here is maybe a former for say a vacuum former. So we can use this in the process, uh, in the manufacturing process. So what I've applied here, if we have a look from this front view, is we've applied okay drafts to an internal sort of hole there at the top, and we've applied it to the sides of that sort of uh, rectangular design on the right hand side, and we've also applied it to this circle or syndical design on the left hand side. So we're going to have a go at doing that now. And the reason why we might add drafts to parts is mainly for manufacturing purposes, but it also might be added for, say, aesthetic purposes or functionality, but mainly, okay, it would be added for manufacturing purposes. So if we go into this tutorial, there is no drafts, okay, on these uh, features here. All these sides are 90 degrees from that base. So we're going to go up to draft. The draft can be found here. So the first thing we're going to do is going to create a neutral okay, plane draft. This is the easiest draft to understand the pie. So the neutral plane is going to be the top in this instance. Okay, as you can see here. Now entities to draft, what we're going to do is we're going to select these sides as we go around here. And I've selected all four of those. And then I'm going to exaggerate this angle quite a bit. So I could type 20 in. And you can see there what we've got, okay, is it's drafted, okay, I've applied a draft, okay, on these edges here. And as I drag it up and down, you can see I can sort of eyeball it or I can type in the degrees there. If I click on this, it will give me more of a negative angle. And if I click on that one, it gives me more of a positive angle. Once I'm happy with that, okay, I can click the tick. And as you can see, that's now, if I just drag this backwards and forwards, just here, you can see that draft, okay, is applied to those surfaces. If I go back in, I can edit this, so I can change the degrees to say four degrees, so it's a slight draft. And what you've got here is we apply fillet so if you see here, if we zoom in, because this has got fillets on, if we don't tick that option, it can distort that fillet going along the, the edges, especially at the bottom. But if we click reply or reapply fillet, okay, it reapplies the fillet to once it's been drafted out. So it gives it a more accurate okay, representation of the fillet that was already on there. And I can tick that. And as you can see now, it's applied, okay, reapplied that fillet okay, along the bottom of there. So what we don't have to do is draft this before the fillets, okay, and move this up in a timeline. I've just, okay, applied it to those faces and then said apply or reapply the fillet. And again, it doesn't have to be done on the outside of shape. It can be also applied to inside of shape. So if we set this face here, oh, actually, if we go into draft first, it doesn't matter which way we do this. And what I'm going to do is neutral plane is going to be the top one and entities to draft will be the inside of that. And I'm going to again give it a four degree draft. And I'm going to rather than going in, I'm going to go sort of a more positive draft. Okay, if I was at you know vacuum forming next, I would not add a negative draft because I wouldn't be able to get the plastic off without damaging that or the form at the end of it. And if I click the green tick that's applied a small draft in the inside of there. Okay. And again, I could come to draft and I can apply. So the neutral plane again is this. Okay. Entity to draft is that face. 
Okay, that's again going to draft that out by say four degrees. If we got to this angle, you can see it a bit better. And again, I can reapply, okay, the fillet to that. If you're only applying a small draft, so if you drag this out here, exaggerating that, you'll see it's sort of distorted the fillet that was originally there. So again, if you click reapply, okay, that will update okay once we apply it but we're just going to go for a simple four degree and click tick and as you can see that's uh, changed that so if we go backwards and forwards on this so before and then after and if we come up to here and say choose this face and right click and go to sectional view we can then do a sectional view of this and if we have a look, okay, it might be easier to see. Okay, there you go. You can see those being added. And again, we added a slight one in here. So if we go back, say, to there, you can see it didn't have drafts. And then the draft has been applied there. So what you wouldn't do if you were designing this for vacuum forming, and we'll do some future videos on this, okay, you wouldn't add a negative draft. You wouldn't have that angle going, okay, undercutting okay if you were designing something for vacuum forming but that's the easiest okay way to if i just turn off the sectional view that's the easiest way okay to apply basically a fixed plane draft what we're going to look at next which is a bit more complicated is using a parting line thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.